Hey there everyone, Paradise Gamer 13 here, and um, today I'll be battling uh, Naomi in uh, Pokemon Stadium 2 here. So, as you can see, um, obviously this is going to have something to do with uh, held items. Um, don't recall what all the items are. I think they're pretty much just berries. Um, hmm. There is definitely a slight bit of strategy involved here. Uh, she mentions that she'll be starting off with Murkrow, so like, okay, um, hmm. let's see here, Bitterberry and Thrash, Thrash and Ice, okay, well that's obviously a bad combination, because Iceberry, um, really doesn't have any, um, isn't, oh, it doesn't have any use at all in this fight, considering the fact that, uh, none of those Pokemon, I'm guessing, will have any Ice-type moves or anything like that. Um, mint berry, mint. Uh, I believe that, that, yeah, that wakes you up, I think. It's a belly jump, rest, mud slap. All right. Obviously, though, mud slap wouldn't uh, affect Murkrow, so we wouldn't want to lead off with him, but I'm guessing we'll probably be using him. Um, same thing with Politoed, maybe? Burnt, okay, burnt berry didn't have much of a use. Berry juice, hmm. I'm guessing... Okay, so both Politoed and Poliwhirl have Mud Slap, which doesn't affect Murkrow. And since she's going to be starting off with that uh, for certain, the only other choice we really have here, the only other lo uh, logical choice anyways, is uh, Primate. So I'm going to go ahead and lead off with Primate. Obviously we're going to have to switch um, to either Politoed or Poliwhirl after uh, after beating the Murkrow. Oh, it looks like the Murkrow is at level 55. Ooh. It's, it's a bit of, at a bit higher level than uh, the other ones are. It's, um, interesting. This shouldn't be, uh, too difficult, I wouldn't think, though. Um, pretty straightforward as long as you know what the, all the different held items do. Yeah, it is, it is at level 55, huh? So it's five levels ahead of, uh, our Pokemon. So that shouldn't make too much of a difference, though. Uh, that didn't do as much as I would hope it would, but... <laughs> I guess, I guess it did almost a third, um... And Faint Attack isn't very effective against it, so even though it's five levels ahead of us, Faint Attack still doesn't do much, which is kind of nice. Alright, so two more hits. Um, should do it. Uh, fortunately, though, I guess that means we'll have to use uh, Thrash again. We won't be able to switch. Well, you'll see what I mean here, but um, the Bitter Berry will uh, heal our confusion here. Yep. And, um, but I'm gonna have to go ahead and start another thrash, which means I won't be able to, uh, switch out in between turns. So, basically, I'm gonna waste a turn against, uh, whatever gas, or, uh, whatever they're called, ghost, uh, type Pokemon comes out, or the cargo, I guess you could come out too. Thrash would at least hit him, it just wouldn't do that much. Um, let's see here, though. Um... Haunter, yeah, so Thrash won't affect it, and unfortunately we can't switch out, like I just said. So, hmm, frustration. That's an interesting move choice. Hmm. That didn't do that much. Um, so this won't have any effect on it whatsoever. And in theory, <laughs> Mud Slap shouldn't be able to affect it either. Alright, we can switch now at least. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter who you switch to. Let's just switch to Politoed. Uh, just for the heck of it. But anyways, um, in theory, Mud Slap, um, if you were playing from Generation uh, 3 onward, wouldn't have any effect on Haunter because of uh, Levitate. However, since this is a Generation 2 game, it doesn't have uh, abilities. So that's kind of nice, I guess, you know. Um, you don't have to worry about that. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start off with Belly Drum. Oh, he's faster than us, though. That's... Hmm. Oh, <laughs> um, this might not be so good. Uh, I'll have to see how much I have left, potentially. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm guessing I probably won't survive this. So he just kind of got lucky there, I suppose. Oh, two critical hits in a row? Man, that's, uh, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, really you shouldn't have this much of a problem, I would think. Um, obviously... 
Primeape is pretty useless, so you basically have two Pokemon against her remaining two Pokemon. And that, like I said, that shouldn't really be a problem. I guess I should have just let uh, Primeape get uh, killed off, and uh, it's not way I didn't waste a turn switching him, but I wasn't expecting there to be uh, two critical hits, so... Really, though, you shouldn't have a problem with the uh, rest. That seems like it did a lot. Well, I guess he did attack me with frustration. Um, okay, good. <laughs> I was like, I swear, if it's another critical hit. Um, shouldn't have too much of a problem now, though. Um, frustration obviously doesn't do that much. And we could, always, we could always use rest again. We wouldn't be able to turn around and wake up immediately afterwards. Um... Because the uh, berries are only a a uh, once used item, and um, but obviously frustration wouldn't be able to take us out in the two turns that it would take to uh, to heal. Oh, I guess we it, we definitely won't need to uh, worry about healing again or anything like that because this is pretty much a two hit KO. It looks like. Of course, I mean that's because uh, Belly Drum raised our uh, attack quite significantly. Um, I guess Haunter's only at level 50. So it's just that Murkrow, I think that's at level 55. But, so these these two shouldn't pose too much of a problem. Obviously, uh, we don't have to take any more, waste any more turns uh, setting up cause, again, because we already did that, which is kind of nice. So, um, we can just get out there and start attacking this Gengar immediately. I'm guessing this probably won't do that much either. No, not really. So... This should be a pretty easy win. This is probably, obviously, the most, uh, requires the most strategy of the, uh, any, um, any other of the, uh, battles so far. But, um, as long as you kind of know what you're doing, you, uh, shouldn't have too much of a problem. I think this, nope, nope, it's gonna take a third hit. Alright, um, that's kind of nice thing, too, is the... Accuracy gets lowered every time, so like uh, on that last uh, turn, frustration missed. Um, it missed again there. <laughs> it's kind of nice. Like I said, though, it really shouldn't matter too much, as long as it's not a critical hit. Um, <laughs> I just kind of got unlucky there, I suppose. Um, but the these um, the gym leader class battles are definitely a step up from the, uh, the trainer class. The trainer class was just like yeah, almost impossible to lose at some of them, you know. Uh, these, at least, though, you know, do are are a little bit more um, challenging. You know, require a little bit more strategy. Um, I don't recall exactly what the uh, next one is. Okay, that that's helpful. <laughs> um, hmm. I honestly don't remember. But, obviously, the next battle is going to be against Last Tammy, so that will be uh, what I'll be doing for my next video in this series. But, um, for now, this pretty much wraps up this part. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, hope it was helpful, and thanks again for watching.